Here we are solving Pure Math 3, May, June 2023 paper. In the previous video, we looked at question number 1 to 4. Here we are starting question number 5 from trigonometry, solving trigonometric equation. So here what you need to do, we have two factors, equate them separately to 0. x minus 2 is equal to 0. Root 3 is secant x minus 2 is 0. So first solution is x is equal to 2 and then again when you solve you need to make sure the value of x lies between this 0 to pi. So 2 is basically the value of pi is 3.14 the value of pi is equal to 3.14 so 2 is between this so this is a solution if it's outside the range you need to write no solution here but in this case 2 lies within the range so that's one of the solution and then make secant x as a subject you will get 2 over root 3 so cos x is the reciprocal of it root 3 over 2 now we need to solve it using the method we learned solving trigonometric equation first you need to find the principal value so x is cos inverse of root 3 over 2 we need to use radian mode cos inverse of root 3 over 2 pi over 6 that's the principal value use the ASTC diagram the limit is 0 to pi and we need to look for a quadrant where cos theta is positive cos theta will be positive in here I think we made a slight mistake here it should be plus 2 so it will be minus minus but still when you find the principal value you take the positive number root 3 by 2 so cos will be negative in here which is pi minus pi over 6 so the solution is x is equal to 5 pi over 6 so there are two solutions 2 and 5 pi over 6 let's move on to the next one now 10 sine theta is equal to 3 cos 2 theta okay first we need to convert everything into a single trigonometric ratio so you can write it as 10 sine theta is equal to use the double angle formula for cos 2 theta which is 1 minus 2 sine square theta open the bracket and put everything on side you'll get 6 sine square theta plus 10 sine theta minus 3 is 0 which is a quadratic equation I'm going to solve the quadratic equation using the calculator 6 10 minus 3 okay we get a third form so what I'm going to do sine theta is equal to use the quadratic formula minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a and then straight away write the solution sine theta is minus 5 plus minus 5 plus root of 43 over 6 sine theta is equal to minus 5 minus root of 43 over 6 but if you take minus 5 minus 43 root of over 6 the value is more than 1 so this has no solution because the range of sine x is minus 1 to 1 so we just need to solve only this equation so the value of it is uh, basically a positive number so we are going to find the square root of it sorry a sine inverse of it theta is equal to sine inverse of this value we need to use degree mode sine inverse of minus 5 plus root of 43 over 6 15 point something I'm gonna store this value as a so 15.0444 etc. I stored it as a that's the principal value that's not the original solution we need to use the ASTC diagram now cash diagram the limit is 0 to 360 look for a quadrant where sine theta is positive this and this 
so it's theta and 180 minus theta theta is a principal value so they did not the question did not specifically say how many decimal places are anything so round it to if it's angle round it to one decimal place so the first solution is theta which is 15.0 degree comma the second one 180 minus 15 is 165 degree or three significant figure just put 165 degree that's the solution that's all question number six now from chapter two modulus function we have a modulus function given let's read the question figure two shows a sketch of a curve with y equals f of x f of x is three times this minus 10 the vertex of the graph is at p this is the vertex where the negative arm and positive arm meets that's the vertex find the coordinates of p finding the vertex of a modulus function is one of the very important question you will see several of this type of question in the past paper the easiest way to do it before i used to teach this method you need to write the function in this form a minus x minus h plus k and h comma k is a vertex that's also correct or what were in the modulus take it as equal zero and find x that's the x coordinate two the y coordinate is the number standing all along here two comma minus ten is a vertex that's all it's a two mark question you don't need to show any work one mark for each coordinate so two comma minus ten will give you will get you two marks let's move on to the next part now find f of f of zero i'm gonna write the function here f of x is 3x minus 2 modulus x minus 2 minus 10. first let's find f of zero we don't just blindly sub in the value make sure the value is from the domain given look at the domain here okay no domain given here but from the figure the function is defined for zero also so we are allowed to sub in zero when you sub in zero three i replace x by zero modulus of negative two is positive two so six minus ten is minus four now the complex function the composite function f of f of zero is f of negative four now replace x by negative 4 negative 4 negative 2 is negative 6 modulus of negative 6 is positive 6 6 3 is 8 18 minus 10 is 8 that's now the two more question part c now when they ask you to solve an inequality involving modulus function or to any any two graph you need to look at the graph first of course you need to first solve the equation and find the critical values and then you need to look at the graph to find the solution the region where the inequality is satisfied we have the modulus function here three times x minus blah 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 the function is f of x is equal to three times x minus two minus two so basically this line has a slope of positive three this will have a slope of negative three now we are talking about another straight line 5x plus 10 y is equal to 5x plus 10 okay the 10 is let's say somewhere here the line has a positive slope if the slope is 3 let's say these two lines will be parallel so you will have only one point of intersection if the slope is smaller than 2 smaller than 3 you will have this line so you will have two points of intersection if the small slope is smaller than three if the slope is bigger than three in this case five the slope of this line is five bigger than three so definitely the line will be like this there will be only one point of intersection the intersection with the negative arm so what i'm going to do instead of taking both positive argument negative argument i'm taking only the negative argument is equal to 5x plus 10 solve it 
you get minus 3x plus 6 minus 10 is minus 4 is 5x plus 10 so minus 8x is equal to 14x is negative 7 over 4 so negative 7 over 4 is the x coordinate of this point so divide the graph through the point of intersection you have two regions one here two here they want you to solve the f of x take this as g of x they want you to solve f of x is less than g of x so in graph actually the f of x should be below the g of x so if you look at this region 2 you have f of x here below the g of x below the g of x so this would be the region where the inequality is satisfied so the value of x is greater than negative 7 over 4 that's all so you need to look at the graph to solve this now part d says um, f of modulus x is equal to 0 okay in this function we are going to replace x by modulus x we know f of x is equal to this 3 modulus x minus 2 minus 10 so if it's f of x equals 0 I'm gonna take the positive argument and negative argument separately but we need f of modulus x so instead of x I'm gonna put modulus x here and then solve it you'll get modulus x minus 2 is 10 over 3 modulus x is plus 2 is going to be 16 over 3 here if you solve it modulus x minus 2 is 10 minus 10 over 3 so modulus x is equal to minus 10 over 3 plus 2 modulus x is equal to minus 10 over 3 plus 2 which is minus 4 over 3 that's not possible modulus of a value will not be a negative one so here no solution so the solution is this modulus x is 16 over 3 or we need to write in terms of x x is 16 over 3 minus 16 over 3 there are two values that's it question number seven now a scientist is studying two different populations of bacteria the number of bacteria n in the first population is modeled by the equation n is equal to a e power kt okay this is from chapter five exponential and logarithms and then uh, where a and k are positive constants t is time in hours from the start of the study given that there were 2500 bacteria in the population at the start of the study what does that mean? n is 2500 when t is equal to 0. Here n is 10,000 when t is equal to 8. Find the exact value of a and the value of k. First let's replace n is equal to 2500 t is equal to 0 into the function so you will get a is e power 0 is 1 a is 2500 and then sub in the second condition you will get 10,000 is equal to a a is 2500 e power k t t is 8 so e power 8 k is going to be 10,000 divided by this 2500 it's 4 so remove a e it becomes ln 4 so k is 1 over 8 ln 4 but they want the answer to 4 significant figure so 1 over 8 times ln 4 0 0.1733 k is equal to 0 0.1733 that's the value of k it's a three mark question Let's move on to part B now. 
This number of bacteria n in the second population is modeled by this equation 60,000. They are give you are given another function now where t is the time in hours. Find the rate of decrease. The moment the question talks about rate of change, you need to differentiate it with respect to t. So it becomes 60,000. J of e power minus 0 0.60 is minus 0 0.6 times e power minus 0 0.60. They want you to calculate when t is equal to 5. So basically they want you to calculate dn by dt when t is equal to 5. So it's going to be 60,000 times minus 0 0.6 e to the power minus 0 0.6 times 5. So it's um, 60,000 times minus 0 0.6 times e to the power minus 0 0.6 times 5. That's a negative number because the question talks about rate of decrease. So you can write minus, they want the answer to three significant figure, minus 1790. Or you can write therefore, the rate of decrease is positive 1790. That's all, it's two more question. Let's move on to part C now. When T is equal to capital T, the number of bacteria in two different population was the same. So what does that mean? You need to equate both functions. The first function is 2500 e to the power e to the power kT. K is this. So e to the power 0 0.1733 t is equal to the second function 60,000 e to the power minus 0 0.6 you put capital T not small t. And then you need to make capital T as a subject. So this is basically divided by e power 0 0.6 positive t positive 0 0.6 t. So I'm going to bring this here, the number here. So e to the power 0 0.1733 t plus 0 0.6 t is equal to 60,000 divided by 2,500. 60,000 divided by 2,500 is 24. So remove e and add uh, the power 1.0.1733 0 plus 0 0.6 0 0.7733 so you will get 0 0.7733 t is equal to ln 24 divided by 0 0.7733 ln 24 divided by 0 0.7733 4 point the one the answer to three significant figure 4.11 is the answer 4.11 that's all